Hi, my name is Megan Marsh. I am a CrossFit coach and a sports psychology consultant. And I'm here talking about sports psychology concepts and how they relate to CrossFit. Today we're going to be talking about pre-performance routine. Alright you guys, so what is a pre-performance routine? A pre-performance routine is pretty much a sequence of tasks that are relevant or specific to our sport that we do prior to our competition or performance in order to help us perform better. So there are usually three components to pre-performance routines, which we'll talk about today. Um, this can include our thoughts, our co cognitions, our behaviors or the actions we take, and then these task relevant elements. So what are you doing specific to your sport or that event that's going to get you ready? We use a pre-performance routine to help us feel ready, help us feel focused. Um, simple as that, but there is some science behind it as well. So we do want to get to an optimal mental state. Um, we know from some of the talks I've already done that the mental side of our sport does matter. Um, but there's actually, like I said, the science behind this. Um, I find it interesting that your routine can really set up those neuromuscular pathways. So a lot of what can go into pre-performance routine are some of these sports psychology tools, things that I could be talking about, um, such as imagery. And what we've learned over um, time doing research is that mental practice, like a pre-performance routine, does things for the body internally. So those neuromuscular pathways that we went twitching during a box jump or a lift, we're actually activating that during that imagery or during that warm up. I'm just gonna talk about a few examples, even simple um, examples of what can go into a routine that a lot of our athletes as well as athletes that have never heard about this probably already do. Eating a certain meal the morning of or the night before. Um, you know, certain movie rituals or doing things the night before to kind of calm you down or get ready. Um, music is a huge thing that goes into pre-performance routine. Um, that can be anywhere from something that's going to relax you and get you to zone out to pump you up, getting that music on to get amped and feel like you could attack. Um, so these are examples of what an athlete would probably say, yeah, well, I have a routine. I, you know, eat my good breakfast, listen to music, I stretch, I start warming up my lifts. And that is important. And so when we start implementing the more scientific side of the routine, we don't want to discourage those things because actually there's a reason for those as well. Which leads me into my next point, um, superstitions versus routine or rituals. So a superstition is something that we've probably all seen on TV. I think a lot of baseball pitchers have these. A little flick of the ear or nose, something that looks kind of random like a twitch, but it happens every time they go to perform that task. So that can be a superstition. A routine, and what we're talking about, is kind of like warming up or listening to music. There is a reason and a purpose behind what you're doing. Uh, that doesn't mean that every superstition is bad, and we can have superstitions that feel helpful, and I'm not saying we have to get rid of them. Uh, here are some questions to ask yourself of whether or not you have a superstition or a ritual or a routine, and what's the purpose of it? You want to know if it's helpful to you. Um, or helpful to your athlete. If it's not really that helpful, we could probably get rid of it. Um, is it relevant to the sport you're doing or the task at hand? And how is it not helpful? This comes down to superstitions being very rigid. Um, our rituals, our routines, they can be rigid and sometimes that helps us. Something to ask you, yourself though is what if that gets uh, messed up or for some reason you can't follow your routine? Is that going to completely affect how you perform? Um, is it going to make it so that you can't perform at all? And a couple other things just to highlight on pre-performance routine. Uh, do things that are automatic to the athlete. So things we've already practiced and are familiar with. Not the best idea to introduce a brand new behavior the day of your event. And then we also want to be as flexible as possible uh, because things do come up. Events run late. We always want to adapt to whatever the situation uh, throws at us. So that might be having pump up music if we're feeling kind of groggy the day of our event. Um, those are just some examples. And again, this is going to be specific to the individual. Uh, but hopefully you guys got something out of this talk today. And again, I just want to thank you for having me in talking about pre-performance routine. Stay tuned for future lectures on sports psychology concepts and how they apply to CrossFit. See you next time.